Hi all, Jude here. I just wanted to drop a quick message in response to uh, the latest lockdown uh, restrictions. Um, first up, if you have got COVID or uh, if you get COVID or if you know someone uh, who has it, who's in need, uh, please do uh, get in touch. Um, we've done lots of uh, food parcel deliveries, pharmacy runs, uh, prayed with people who are suffering. Um, so let's stay connected um, over these next coming weeks and do please shout. Uh, if you need help. Uh, secondly, a prayer. Uh, some of you will have seen uh, Justin Welby and uh, Stephen Cottrell's letter to the Anglican churches and in it they're asking us to make November a month of prayer, real focus uh, on prayer and there's lots of ways we can do that. Uh, starting this Friday, this Friday night 7.30 till 8.30 we're going to be praying into the, the COVID crisis, hearing from a few people uh, across church. Uh, we'll be meeting on the usual uh, Sunday service uh, Zoom code. Uh, look out for the email or text uh, stuff on the website about that. But do please join uh, if you can. It'd be great to pray. Of course, prayer continues fortnightly on Wednesday mornings. That's the 7.30 till 8 a.m. slot uh, next week. Uh, and then fortnightly thereafter, just half an hour, church-wide uh, prayer uh, meeting. And it'd be great, you know, more and more people are making that a priority before the day starts. And it'd be lovely uh, to see you um, next Wednesday at that, if that works uh, for you. Look out as well for other ways to pray within connect groups or accountability groups. And uh, the Liverpool Diocese as well are going to be organising some larger uh, prayer meetings for us to be part of. Uh, more information to come on that too. Uh, a quick word on Sunday services. Uh, as things stand, we can't unfortunately be meeting in the building, of course. Um, uh, but given that the sort of rate of increase of COVID uh, in Liverpool has sort of uh, begun to sort of flatten out, uh, slowed significantly, um, you know, my hope is that as, as soon as it's legally possible for us to meet, I'll be talking to the wardens, some other key folks across uh, the church family and thinking about whether we can uh, reopen on Sundays. Lots of us uh, clearly want to do uh, that. Um, and I'm certainly praying that by December we will be back in the church building, if at all possible, on Sundays. And whether it's in person or, or online, we've got some really exciting um, sort of carol, nativity, crib services coming up for the Christmas uh, season. The great events to be inviting uh, people into. Christmas is almost here already. Uh, I don't know how that happens. Um, very finally, uh, I did want to mention this uh, this Liverpool COVID trial that seems uh, sort of imminent. And, and you know, clearly all, all trials are limited, aren't they? And no doubt there'll be human issues in implementing this one. Varied opinions about that, fine. Um, but it might be that this is a chance for, for Liverpool as a city to serve um, the rest of the UK and, and perhaps even the wider world by sort of putting ourselves out and engaging wholeheartedly with this trial. Now, you know, it's hard to comment, isn't it, on practicalities of that or, or outcomes or any, any of that stuff. But it, it could be an opportunity for us to step up as a city and to serve others uh, in a time of crisis. So let's be talking to each other and praying into that as we go forward. Hope that helps. Uh, prayer meeting on Friday night as we start this month of prayer, uh, fortnightly on Wednesdays. More things happening in that space too. Back in the building, hopefully on Sundays. Uh, in December, praying into that also, uh, and lots of ways in which we can serve, um, lots of ways we can serve more widely uh, over the coming weeks too. Take care, stay safe, hope that helps.